Okay, let's go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've got a blank project set up right here. And we're just gonna to go to Windows Workspace and click all panels so you see the same layout that, I, that you see here. If you drag and drop your video clip onto the timeline, and I've got this video clip of this person, and we just want to speed ramp this, right? Speed ramp it. So to do that, the first thing we really wanna do is zoom in onto this clip so we can see things in a bit more detail. So I'm gonna drag this handle and drag it down. This is where the audio is below, so we've got more space to work on above. And then just above the video clip, I want to drag it up so that we can see more of the video clip here, right, like, like this. And we're gonna hold down the Alt key and use the mouse wheel to zoom in, or you can grab this handle here and just drag it to zoom in and out. So we wanna zoom in a bit. Let's drag it across here. And in the top left-hand corner, you've got this little FX. It's a little square circle. And if you right-click on that and go to time mapping and click speed, now we've got now we have the ability to change the speed of this video clip. Uh, one thing we should do is uh, click on the video clip itself and in time remapping here, that's what we just added. You can see there's the speed here is set to 100 at present. So I'm going to move across the timeline, maybe to around, let's say around four seconds, right? Around four seconds. So here you can see four seconds and we want to grab this handle. So first of all, let's grab it and move it up. When we move it up, we're actually um, increasing the speed. And right now, as default, it's going to be set to 100 speed, right? So as I drag it up, you can see there's a little um, marker below uh, giving us this, the actual speed that we're setting it to. I want to set it to 200, 200 here. So I'm going to get it right on 200 and let go. And you can see the time mapping here now, the speed is set to 200. So in theory, this video clip will now be playing twice as fast as it did before. So I'm going to move back across the timeline to around four seconds. Let's hold down the Alt key and zoom in a little bit and we want to add a keyframe in here so to do that we can hold down the control key and then left click once and when we hold down the control key and left click once you see there's a keyframe that's been added here and now these um the time basically the speed of your content is now split into two parts anything on the left hand side will play at 200 and anything on the right hand side will play at whatever speed we want it to play at so i'm going to grab this handle here or this line and drag it down and i'm going to drag it down to around 50 50 percent all right so we're at half of the original speed that it was originally playing at so when we go back on the timeline and click the play button you'll see that it slows down can you see it's slowing down if we just do that one more time you can see it's quite fast here and then it's going to slow right down here but the the transition here isn't that great is it it slows down quite abruptly so we want to transition that over around a second so we're at four seconds here let's go ahead and drag this timeline to let's let's drag it to around two so you know an extra couple of seconds let's set it to around six seconds here and i'm going to grab this handle this little gray handle click on it once and i'm going to drag this across so it gets to roughly to that six seconds here like this right and at the bottom, you can actually see the time, exactly what the time is. And this will be exactly six seconds. You can see that. Now we've got like a fade or almost like a gradual reduction in speed. But if we go back and click play, you'll see it start to slow down gradually. And it looks a bit better, right? It's not slowing down very, very fast. It's got some graduation in there. But we can also click on this little handle here. So you see this little blue line? We can left click on the top one and drag it to the left hand side. And that will place a bezier. Right, so now it's got some smoothness uh, to this speed. So when we click here and click play, it will gradually slow down to that position. So if we were to leave it slow for maybe, uh, let's say we're at six seconds here on the timeline, and let's leave it at around eight seconds. So for a couple of seconds, it's gonna play a little bit slow, and now we wanna speed it back up. So how do we do that? We can just simply hold down the control key, and then we can left click again one more time, that's going to add a keyframe, right? So we hold down the control key. Uh, let's see. Left click. So you need to hold down the control key and left click on the actual um, line here. And then we can go ahead and drag this section back up to 200. So I'm going to measure it out so that it sits at 200. And then we can grab the handle and we want to drag it to, remember this was like uh, two seconds between here. So we're at eight seconds. So let's drag it to 10. So we can add an extra two seconds here. So let's go to 10, let's drag it across, and this will be exactly 10 seconds here. So now we just need to repeat that same logic with the Bezier. This time we'll drag it to the right hand side so that we can slow it down or speed it back up in the opposite direction. Now when we go back and click the play button, it will slow down 
gradually it will slow down here for a period of time and then it's going to speed back up to its normal speed so you can apply that to any video clip that you want i would recommend that you use video content that has quite a high frame rate the higher the frame rate the better that smoothing down and speeding up is going to be okay so that's how you create a uh, speed ramp in adobe premiere pro on your video content let's go ahead and minimize this that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial